Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to deal with pesky guitar finger squeaks. So the annoying high pitched sound that you get when you slide between chord changes that can really ruin a recording. It can be so distracting. The problem with this is sometimes you don't notice it, but once you do notice it, it's all you can hear. You can hear someone sliding their fingers up and down the guitar. So I was working on a mix this week and one of the notes that came back with the mix revisions was about some harshness in the finger squeaks on the guitar. And so I was so busy dialing in the sound of the guitar that that stuff was just flying over my head. But once it was pointed out to me, I was like, yeah, those finger squeaks are kind of annoying. It's funny how you can tune that stuff out and then as soon as someone points it out to you, you go, yes, that's really annoying. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of these with one plugin. We're just gonna use FabFilter Pro MB and we're going to destroy these squeaks, get them out of the way for good. So we've got some double tracked finger picked acoustic guitars and because I've made them quite bright to stand out in the mix, it's also made these finger squeaks jump out. So have a listen to these finger squeaks. So it's pretty loud, right? I'm actually shocked that I didn't hear this when I was mixing it, but you just get into a headspace and sometimes you tune that stuff out. Let's have a listen to what they sound like after this sneaky little bit of processing that I've done. way better. So it's still there, like you're not gonna get rid of it completely, but now it's it's listenable. It's not like whew, just loud finger scratch coming out at you and chopping your ears off. So a really simple trick and involves a little bit of automation. As you can see on the screen, all these little dips are where the squeaks are on the guitar. And it costs you a little bit of time. You have to listen through, find the squeaks and cut these out. Now, before I show you how we do this, Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really goes a long way in helping this video do well with the algorithm on YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna load up FabFilter Pro MB. The first thing we're gonna do is click over here and make a high shelf. We're gonna take this up to around 1.5K and we're gonna make this really dramatic. Just throw it all the way down, minus 30 dB. We're gonna set our attack to fast, release to fast. Then we're gonna come over into our expert tab change it to free and that lets us set which frequencies are going to make the compressor react. Now the squeaky sound in that guitar is coming in at around 2.2k. See that spike that happened just there? So that's where we're going to set this little band to make our compressor react. Now the reason why we don't use a bell and just try and focus in on that little frequency is it doesn't get rid of the noise because a lot of the noise is still in the swiping of the fingers going up the strings and that's all up in these high frequencies. So you really need to do a high shelf. So when it reacts, it ducks all of those frequencies and then quickly throws it back up so you don't really notice that it's happened. It's gotta be quite fast. Let's try and rein this in. Okay, now let's push this threshold right down. Much better, let's bring this over a little bit more. All right, starting to disappear now, that's good. Let's bypass it, see if this is an improvement. Awesome, maybe even bring it over a tiny little bit more, around 900 Hertz. Okay, so we don't want this sitting here on all the time. You can see this is moving while the guitar is playing and we don't want that. So to get the threshold where we want it to react enough is causing a change in the sound to the whole guitar. It's kind of constantly compressing at the moment. So we need to automate the threshold. Now, generally, if I just want to get to something really quickly with automation, I will just turn the track into touch mode. I'll press play and then I'll move the parameter that I want to automate and it's going to make some automation up here on the global window and then I can go in and play with it rather than having to search through this little bar here. You go up to Pro MB. Yeah, you can see you got to search through all this stuff. So quick and easy way, put it in the touch, press play and we're just going to tweak the threshold knob here and then I'll write some automation up here and then we can go and play with it. Cool, now we've got that there. Let's come down here, delete all of that. Okay, so you can see I've already done this across the track and all the other places, but I've just reset it here to show you what I've been doing. But anyway, we're gonna come down here and this is our little squeaky sound right here. So we're just gonna do a little bit of automation here, drag this down to around minus 30. That was where it was sitting pretty good to catch all of that noise. And then we're just gonna make sure that it is off by the time the guitar comes back in. 
Let's have a listen to how this sounds. It's great. We could pull the threshold down even more, maybe. Let's turn it off and have a listen. Crazy, right? It's like magic. And especially in a setting where you have drums and other instruments around it, you can really go hard on this and not notice that it's being ducked away because we still keep all the low end going through the guitar. It's just those high frequencies that get ducked down. And that's it. Then you just have to sit here, listen through the track. You can just grab this, click over it, Command C. And every time a squeak comes along, you just hit Command V and you paste that in, line it up with the squeak and then keep going. Very quick and easy. Took a couple of minutes just to listen through the song and eradicate all the squeaks. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to show some support to the channel, go down to the description link below and check out the drum samples on my website. When you grab a copy, it helps support all the time that's spent making this content. And you also walk away with some tasty drum samples. And if you're keen to check out another little mixing hack, make sure you follow that link above to the next video. Where I'm going to show you how to get super smooth vocal reverb.